Time to play with some clay. It's cold out here today. I got my gloves on because it's cold out here. And I got some canned air. All right, we'll pick this up inside. Since the uh, glue doesn't work, I'll try some other method. place. Should have thought of that last night. Hopefully the clay is soft enough that I can put it on here. Like I said, it's been cold out here. Okay. So 
how do you make a rock look like a rock? Well, I guess we'll find out. show this part of the rock is being broken off. I want to just try something here. I got a real stiff brush. I want to see what kind of texture I can get into the uh, clay. If I can get a rough texture like you would have on a broken, newly broken rock. By pressing the bristles into the uh, rock itself. Well, might work, I don't know. What I'm thinking of doing is making this ground with loose rocks laying on the ground. I don't want to overdo that because everything that they have to cast underneath is uh, going to cost money. And loose rock uh, just jacks up the price of casting. But it will also complement the base and give it context to a mountain or a hillside or something. I'm trying to show this rock is a boulder that's on top of the, the hill and he's leaning against it. Of course from behind it's going to be different but uh, that's what I'm thinking of doing right now. <coughs> Take this thin piece, it's a little bit, and I'll show you what I'm talking about as far as rocks go. I'm, I 
form it. I don't want it to be uniform. I don't want it to be round either. So I'm just going to lay it on the ground and just my thumb hurts. get the idea of what I'm thinking about doing. I don't want to make them all the same size either. They got to be a different size rocks. Some with uh, striations in them like that. It just gives the uh, gives a little more personality to the base. Maybe have a rock sitting here loosely on top of the uh, boulder that's broken here. But I'll do that going up the hillside here. A lot of that I'm going to probably wait until I'm done sculpting him before I do it because, you know, I'm going to get pieces of clay dropping down into there and it's just going to make it a pain trying to get them out from between the rocks. So I want to kind of block in where his foot's going to be. A foot is about a head length long from the back of the heel to the toes. That's ideal. That's a... Uh, part of the proportions. And so I'm just going to outline where the foot will be. So I know what the angle of the foot's going to be. puts an interesting texture into the clay. Now 
All right, that's where I'm going to have to call it quits because i got to cut more clay. And that's going to probably have to wait till Monday. I like it a lot better than I was liking it yesterday. I see potential now. That's why you can't call it quits when you first start. You've got to just keep going for it and seeing where it takes you. Where it leads you. Now, I cut that clay the other day, and that's all I got left right there. Damn, stuff's expensive. But doing this foam has saved me probably a hundred dollars in clay, so I'm not going to complain too much. Till next time. Good night. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.